Most cars built in the 60s and newer have in their braking system a combination valve. And you know, a lot of times this gets mislabeled and people will call it a proportioning valve. But it's not really a proportioning valve. It's a com this one is actually a combination valve. And it, what that means is it's actually a series of three valves in one. In the front here, we have what's called a metering valve. And that operates the front braking. On a front disc brake car, the front disc will want to actually kick in before the backs. And to get more equally, and you don't want your car to nosedive as soon as you apply the brakes. So what this does is this metering valve actually slows down the fluid going to the front braking system just a little bit. And uh, it keeps the car from applying the brakes more evenly as opposed to nose diving when, it, uh, when you initially apply the brakes. In the back of the combination valve, is the actual uh, proportioning valve. And what this does, you know, under normal braking, it doesn't do a thing. It just it, uh, allows brake fluid to come in and pass to the back. But under real hard braking, if in a panic stop situation, this kicks in and restricts the amount of fluid going to the rear brakes. And the, the reason that is, is you want your front brakes to engage first. Before, you, you know, otherwise if you lock up your rear brakes, the car can go into a skid situation. So in a panic stop situation, the proportioning valve kicks in and restricts how quickly the fluid gets to the rear brakes. It does not alter the amount of pressure or the amount of fluid, it just slows it down. In the middle, we have what they call the low pressure switch. And what happens here is it's just a rod that has a detent in it. And that little groove in that rod, should the front brakes or the rear brakes lose pressure, that rod will shift from one side to the other, whichever side has low brakes. And basically what happens, that rod then suddenly comes into contact with this steel rod and then creates an electric circuit that signals a warning light on your dash to uh, indicate that, you know, you have a, a low brake pressure either in your front or rear. When bleeding the brakes, a lot of guys often forget to do this because you'll be opening bleeders on the front and on the back. It is potential that you can actually trip the switch and it'll get stuck. They make a tool specifically to hold that rod in place. And this one here is from Master Power Brakes. And you just insert this tool into the top before you start bleeding your brakes. Firmly screw it in. And that prevents that low pressure switch from activating. When you're done bleeding your brakes, Simply unscrew the, the tool and reinsert the switch. And that's pretty much, that's how the combination valve works. And with a better understanding of what's going on with your valve, you'll be able to, you know, diagnose problems. And on these, if you should ever switch to a disc-disc brake situation, where you have disc brakes in front and disc brakes in back, you can eliminate this uh, metering valve portion of this simply by removing this plug, removing the metering valve in the front and replacing that with a plug. Then your proportioning valve will be good for a disc-disc brake conversion.